Welcome to Wrapped Up Interviews. Today we're interviewing Donovan Marius of Think Bike. So Donovan, how was Think Bike started? Think Bike was founded in the 1970s by a gentleman by the name of Tony Day. Um, it ran for several months and then unfortunately due to a lack of support, the campaign actually fell flat. About six years ago, it was revived by Brian Kilu, Becky Swart, and a couple of other motorcycle enthusiasts who discussed bike safety online in a forum. They decided to revive the campaign, and since 2006, it's been running very strongly. We've got several thousand members throughout South Africa, supporters and members throughout South Africa, and it's a very well recognized brand. Think Bike is the second largest safety campaign in Africa, but we're also the biggest two wheel awareness campaign in the Southern Hemisphere. And uh, what is your involvement with Think Bike? I'm on the committee for Think Bike Western Cape. Um, I run the sponsorship portfolio for Think Bike. Um, we're a totally non profit organization, so we don't get any government subsidies. We rely on our sponsors. Some of our headline sponsors include our insurance, Lucas Scooters, the City of Cape Town, and several others. Um, the sponsors, sponsor stickers, banners, and reflective gear for us. They put their name on it, and we wear it with pride. What are the goals of Think Bike? Think Park's main goal is to create awareness of two-wheel road users, motorcyclists as well as cyclists. Uh, we aim to achieve better biker safety out there, as well as to educate motorists and motorcyclists alike, to be patient with each other and to use the road wisely. How many members are there of Think Park at the moment? Think Park's got about 600 paid up members, and we've got in excess of 4,000 avid supporters of the campaign. In uh, your opinion, is Think Bike uh, successful in achieving its goals? Yes, for sure. Uh, Think Bike is involved in a lot of charity work. We're also involved uh, with the cycling community in South Africa. We're the official marshals for the Pedal Car Association for the Cycle to a Trust. We marshal cyclists, we marshal motorcycle events. Uh, you'll see us at the Toy Run this year. Uh, we, we're very involved in the community, the biking community, the cycling community, but also the motoring community as such. What is Think's Bike stance in the Pass Rapid Transit System of BRT? Think Bike's very positive and very excited about the BRT. We feel it's a great initiative. Um, it will alleviate a lot of traffic congestion. It will make us motor motorcyclists on the roads a lot safer, um, be easier for us to commute as well. We feel that uh, you know, as long as it's implemented and managed well, that the buses run on schedule and that there's safety on the buses, that's a viable solution. In your opinion, do you see the BRT or Bus Rapid Transit System working uh, after the 2010 World Cup? Yes, we do. We, uh, we're very positive about it. As long as it's well managed um, and the buses run on time, we, we really think it can work very well in the South African market. Thank you very much for your time, Donovan. And that's all we have time for today. Thanks for watching Revved Up Interviews.